earlier, we need 26,800 donations just to make sure we've got enough blood for how many patients we need. So at the moment, we're actually falling short every single day um, and we're already this month, we're over a thousand uh, collections down. So um, it's a tough time at the moment to make sure we have enough blood for the people that need it. Um, I'm Anthony Trinevichus and I'm going to donate blood for the first time today. I'm feeling kind of nervous but also excited because I, I don't know, I've never done it before so it's going to be interesting to see how, how it works and how it feels. I, I've heard people are like kind of feel a bit drowsy afterwards um, so I'm kind of curious to see how it'll hold up. Um, um, as for saving lives, I'm uh, I don't know, it's it's hard to directly feel proud when there's not really like the people, there's no face to the people really um, that, you're, uh, that you are saving so I don't, I don't really feel anything yet but I might, that might change once I get there. There's different types of blood donation, the most common is whole blood so that's just your standard blood donation where you come in and it's just directly taken out of your arm um, and it goes to someone else who needs a blood transfusion. That's a whole blood transfusion. Um, there is also plasma and there's platelets. Both of these donations are really important and they are used for clotting and for cancer and for all sorts of things. So there's blood, plasma and platelets and they're all really important. Um, yeah, I was just finished my interview. Um, basically they kind of give you some information on what to do if you're feeling kind of woozy or whatever and um, they yeah, give you some pamphlets and then they go over the questionnaire that you've filled in and they just kind of reiterate some of the questions or go over some of the ones you didn't understand and then they put all your info into the computer um, and they ask you all about the countries that you've been to and what type of like if you've had any diseases or past medication and all just the standard stuff um, medical history just so they know exactly kind of that you're eligible to donate blood um, then they test you for your iron level um, and I was a bit low so I have to get another in, uh, another test just before my blood donation just to check that I do have the right level of iron in my blood um, and yeah that's about all they do in the interview room. The blood will always go straight to our labs where it's tested and then we have a first in first out policy so the freshest blood will go straight to the hospitals and that will be delivered straight away. Every blood donation only takes 10% of your body or 470 mils and it will be restored in a couple of weeks. Blood will be tested for all types of diseases, hepatitis, AIDS, anything that really that could impact on a recipient. So every single donation is tested before it's sent out. Um, basically I've just uh, finished my donation and um, now I'm in the uh, dining area I guess um, where you get to have food and drinks and milkshakes and party pies and stuff like that um, just to make sure you get some food into your body afterwards and just a bit more of a, a, a rest after you've donated. Um, it was interesting. Um, basically what happened was they ask you how you're feeling during it. Uh, you feel alright? Yeah, just a little bit lighter. Yeah? Okay. We cut it off at that stage because um, they don't want you to faint or anything like that. So we'll just stop it there. It was probably because I hadn't eaten anything um, recently and because I was drinking a lot of water, the blood was going out of me pretty quick. So that paired with the lack of food earlier probably was why. I got three quarters of the way through, um, which is fine because um, they still use all that. But yeah, it's a positive experience. I'm feeling good. Um, and yeah, I'll probably donate again. Absolutely. So get involved and come down because you don't know one day it might be yourself or someone that you love that needs blood. And blood, you take it for granted that it's going to be there and it's not. It comes from vein to vein. And it's great. I think if you get something that doesn't take too long and helps lots of people in the community, it's a good thing to do. It's the one unequivocally good thing I can do in my life. Everybody's really nice to you. So just by having a simple needle in your arm, you can save three lives and think about what those people are going through that have to receive the blood transfusions. 
it's not very hard, about an hour out of your time every three months. Yeah, I wished I'd have started um, a long time ago, um, but um, I guess you can only start now, so the best time to, to do it is now, so it's, um, it's a good thing and you know they can use it for so many things these days.